folks, how's it going? We're back here at Bear Creek Arsenal. Got a special guest with us today, Chris Douglas. Chris, you want to introduce yourself? Yep, I'm Chris Douglas. A lot of people in North Carolina know me as the guy with Carolina All Out. We're an outdoor hunting and fishing show that's regionally based and exclusively about North Carolina. So we do a lot of hunting and fishing right here uh, where we are right now right here Bear, around Bear Creek Arsenal. In fact, we did a show not too far across the highway uh, uh, one year and didn't even know that Bear Creek was here. So this is awesome to be this close. Everybody's right here in our hometown. And you got something to show me. I'm surrounded by guns that I'm not all that familiar with. So what do we got going on here? Chris, what we've got here is the AR platform. And okay. we have several different calibers that we can use for hunting in the AR platform. Uh, the, Today we have the 450 Bushmaster, the 350 Legend, we've got the 556 NATO, and we've got a 6.5 Grendel. All of these calibers that I mentioned uh, can be used for several different purposes, techniques, different game uh, that you wish to take. Mm -hmm. uh, and and there's, a, there's some benefits uh, of using an AR compared to a bolt action rifle. So I know that one of the benefits is that you can take this upper and switch it with a lower. That's absolutely correct. All right, yes, sir. so I need to understand the upper compared to a lower because, again, we're all talking about one unit of gun when you're talking about a bolt action. So what do we have going on in that regard? So right here, right now, we've got four different upper assemblies, all four are different calibers. All four of these assemblies can be used with one lower assembly. It's something as easy as removing two pins and the upper assembly comes right off. You can switch ah. it with another one. Okay. so. So I, I understand what you're saying. We're taking this and attaching it to maybe something we have back here, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so, so we're looking at maybe one gun, so to speak, for all seasons, right? Yes, sir. So what is, I'm seeing some rounds sitting here. So, and some of these look just like exactly what we need. Can I pick this one up here? Yes, sir, go okay. right ahead. That is a 12.7 by 42. That looks like a what we would call bear medicine. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I would say that probably these first three would be. And what is this That's one? That's the four, 458 SOCOM. 458 SOCOM, all right, let's remember that. And then what is this one? That is the 450 Bushmaster. Ah, now I've heard that before. Yes, sir. Okay, and these are more on the line of 45 caliber type? Yes, sir, Rounds. both that okay. one and the 458, yes. Straight neck, looks like all three of those would work for this. Now, it looks like we're moving into something maybe considerable for boar or deer. Yes, sir, that is a 6.5 Grendel. It's got a very flat trajectory. You can reach out and, and really, really reach your target at uh, great distances. I like the looks of that round there. It looks like a little mini 308 or 270 or something like that. Now, what are we looking at here? That is a 350 Legend. Uh, it, it very good straight wall cartridge. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, there, there are several states that only allow hunting with a straight wall cartridge. The 350 Legend has a uh, 30 caliber style bullet to offer that in the AR platform. Okay, all right. And then we get into this one right here. Look at this little thing right here. Wow. That little thing right there, that is the 556 NATO round. Okay. Very popular. Yeah, uh, I've very... heard of it. So these are rounds that I am in particular are not, I, I have heard of some of these, but I don't know them as the hunting rounds that we use because we're talking about 270, 308, 30 all six, and those sort of things that I, I deal with there. So these look like rounds that I could utilize. We're gonna be bear hunting soon. So talk to me about how these things could be made now, one, or, or made to utilize in the field as opposed to a military type of situation, which I would recognize, recognize this as. So out in the hunting world, in the hunting community, uh, AR style rifle, it gives you the benefit of having more ammo, more uh, the quicker ability to fire mm -hmm. in the event that uh, there is a bear charging at you. Right. Uh, in the event where you're going after wild boar, and a lot of people don't know how aggressive wild boar can actually be. Mm -hmm. uh, it, so the AR platform kind of it, it kind of gives you the almost the same characteristics of a bolt rifle. Uh, at the same time, you have something that has a little more uh, repetition, a little more uh, um, volume of fire mm -hmm. in case you need it. So. Give me something else. What else have we got here? I, I'm, I'm, now, I've heard this. Now, I'm, I'm showing my ignorance here. 
but I've heard about the rear charge as opposed to the side charge. Now this looks like something I'd be familiar with with my shotguns, even with the bolt action coming back like this, this thing is going off the side. Now I know that I've seen some of those ARs that you pull directly back from that. So talk to me about this side charge. All right, so right here with the side charge, um, traditional ARs, as you said, yes, you have your rear, your rear charging handle at the rear. Uh, in the event that you are using it, uh, sighting in your scope, um, you're actually shooting at an animal and you have some form of a malfunction. Traditionally, in order to pull that back, the user would have to move, separate the, the rifle from their body to be able to engage that charging handle. Right. With your side charge, it gives you the opportunity to not even break your hold of the rifle in order to engage the bolt, clear any malfunction if you have any, uh, it, it, it gives you a quicker opportunity mm -hmm. to engage that bolt if necessary. I gotcha. That's, that's reassuring. I mean, and it's something we're familiar with, so I can see that. Now, I can see as a deal here that we've got this picket, again, my ignorance, Picatinny rail? Yes, sir. Okay. That's correct, yes. And this is made for more modular type of of uh, maybe sights, scopes, and that sort of thing. So yes, I see sir. that, and That's it correct. really adds that cool factor to these things. So changing out a scope or anything else is not that hard to do on these. It is not. No, it is not. As long as a scope or uh, um, typical red dot sights, holographic sights, have a, uh, a knurled knob, something you can do with your hand. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, as, as long as it can unscrew off, it'll come right off that rail, and you can switch to whatever other optic you choose to use. So on all these upper assemblies, also you can see on these hand guards, you've got these slots that are on the side mm -hmm. and on the bottom. Okay. This is for the M-lock attachment system. Okay, so there's even more places you can lock, not just on the top here. Correct, okay. correct. On the sides, um, you can place anything like a, a, a flashlight, something with high power and so you can cut through the trees uh, in case you're looking for something. Gotcha. Uh, a, on the bottom, they, you can also add uh, very familiar uh, bipod legs that we're all used to. Okay. Um, so this, the sling swivel stud can be attached to the bottom of the M-lock system on the handrail. Uh, four nice. grips, angled grips, there, there's a lot of accessories to help the user become, help them be a better shooter in using this uh, AR upper assembly. Well, as gadget-oriented as I am, I'll probably have all sorts of stuff hanging <laughs> off this thing. Probably wouldn't be able to shoot the thing. Right. Well, that's cool. All right, so I'm dialing in here on these. So we're talking about different rounds for a different game that we can switch up the uppers and lowers to make it uh, to change with the season. Then also, sounds to me like potentially if you have, well, I suppose the zero is going to be different, so you couldn't take, necessarily take a scope off of one and put it on the other and expect it to be zero, but still, you can take things on and off pretty easily that make this thing very versatile for us. So now that we've talked about the AR compared mm -hmm. to a bolt rifle, uh, the different uses of the AR, we've looked at what the AR can fire. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the AR? Oh, I can see all sorts of applications here for us, specifically in North Carolina, but abroad, because we've done it all the way around the world, basically. So I can see a lot of these cartridges coming into play my next deal would be about how I could uh, shoot these things. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we take all of them to the range and go shooting? I'm in. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Ashley, that gun looks like it's broken. Chris, I've got an AR-15 right here. Okay. In the, in the 450 caliber. But I've got right here two pieces that make up the rifle. I'm going to show you some of the diversity, some of the uh, how, how to personalize this AR rifle. Okay? okay. So as you see here, I've got the side charge assembly. Okay. Already outfitted with the BCA branded scope. Now, before we attach the, uh, the upper assembly onto the lower, your threaded receiver plug, I'm going to turn that and I'm going to ensure that that flat section is facing down. I got you. All right. So now on the lower, I've got both takedown pins out. I'm going to go ahead and just mate them together just like that. Make sure those pins go in all the way. Now this looks like a complete gun. Now you've 
You've got your complete AR-15 and the 450 Bushmaster caliber right here. Wow. Yes, sir. Do you mind? Ooh. Very nice. Ah, I can see it. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh, little extension too. I need a long. Yeah, there you go. Here. Yes, sir. Wow. So we gonna get to shoot this thing? Well, if we have ammo, are we gonna be able to shoot it? <laughs> here you go. <laughs> okay. So we're talking about side charging. I do know a little bit about the rear charging there. So we're uh -huh. gonna put this thing up. Just like that. Yeah. Now, if you want to just reach up there, grab that handle, pull it back all the way, release it. And now that rifle's good to go. She's charged and ready to go. Yes, sir. All right. We see safety. We're ready. So we're just going to just take a shot or two. You shoot at whichever ones you want. Okay. All right. You're out of rounds. Now she's out. <laughs> hey, my hat's like up like this here. That's got a little kick to it, doesn't it? Yes, sir, it does. That is a powerful round. Yes, sir, it does. That is very big round traveling very fast. A good, accurate range of 200 yards. So, yes. So for such a big caliber, such a large bore, you still have a great distance to take a very effective, well-aimed shot. Yeah, I can see that. I like the look of that straight wall caliber to that yes, round sir. it's really 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 cool it's got that look to it i really like the feel of this thing you know it it, it feels natural it feels yeah. normal and you almost forget that you've got such a large caliber that's getting ready to come out of this uh this rifle it's very neat coming from the world that i come from you know the term upper and lower yes sir is a little bit foreign to me yes sir let's just for for the sake of people who are looking at it, who mm -hmm. are coming from my world and looking at this thing, let's talk about the upper and lower and show that again where you put this thing together. All right, not a problem. So, all right. So in the world of the ARs, we've got your upper assembly and your lower assembly. Now this is on our AR-15 model. So with the removal of two pins, mm -hmm. sometimes these pins can be a little, a little tight gotcha. and that's all good, that's all right. So we okay. go just like that. So now we're looking at two pieces, the upper yes, sir. and the lower. Yes, Makes sir. sense to me. Yes, sir. The upper is what we're going to change into whatever caliber we want. That's correct. The lower correct. is what's going to fire. That's right. As long as it's with, within the AR-15, you can take any other caliber of the upper assembly and it'll work on this very same lower assembly. A gun for all seasons. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is very cool. I appreciate you showing me this and letting me shoot these things. Not, I want no to do it some all. more. Uh, well, guess <laughs> what? We've got another caliber here that we're going to be firing oh, as well. Oh, super. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. There you go. All right, Chris. So what we've got here now, we've got the 350 Legend upper assembly with a red slash green dot uh, close optic sight okay. here on top. Same lower assembly that we had earlier with the 450, but now we've got something a little bit lighter. A little bit lighter. Yes, sir. So it's not going to be that big punch that I was getting before, huh? It, I might not, miss not, that, though. Not as much, no, I sir. I might miss that. So, oh, this is exciting. Let me look down this thing before we start charging this up. You here. got it. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I like that. Wow. Okay. Let's give this a try. All right. We have, ah. Oh, I see. Yeah, it is a bit lighter. It is a still. Look right. at that. Yes, still a straight straight walled cartridge. Still in the in the thirty caliber family. Yes. Um, not as much of a kickback like that four fifty. I see, but deadly, no yes, doubt. Yes, sir. All right, we'll put this in here. Charge it. Okay. Clear. Yes, sir. This is sweet. Now, do I? Now, don't get me wrong. That 450 is sweet. <laughs> I can see some applications that we would use that for in a yes, hunting sir. world. But this is awful nice too. I really like that. The feel. I can get back on my target a little bit quicker. Huh? I, I saw you. You saw your target. Acquired it. 
targeted it and 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 shot your fire a, l a little bit faster than that 450 yes sir. yeah that's right because yeah it's exactly <laughs> right but that's good what a sweet gun i absolutely appreciate the opportunity to come out and experience this this uh ar the ar experience yes, with sir. you guys bear creek arsenal is putting out some really cool stuff it just feels good to have that kind of gun it's just made for for shooting isn't it right 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 it gives that natural feeling now i don't know if you notice this but you held this rifle the exact same way you held the four, the 450 Bushmaster. Uh -huh. Your your stance, your arm placement, your hand placement, the your, your the way you fire doesn't change. That right. is a beauty of using such a multi-caliber platform like the AR-15. True, true, very nice. Ashley, I appreciate that. No problem, that was Chris. Awesome. No problem at all. Thanks a bunch, man. You got it, folks. Thanks for watching again. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got Chris from Carolina all out here. Don't forget to check that out. All of the uh, all the websites and links are going to be on the description below, as the same as the links for uh, uh, correction the SKUs for the 350 Legend and the 450 Bushmaster. Don't forget to like us on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Y'all be safe in the woods and you be safe out in the range. We'll see you next time.